What's up, guys? It's me, the guy who said he was done vlogging. Um, you know what? I'm not going to go into it right now. Uh, I'll probably wait till I'm at work where I can set the camera up and be able to have a full, long discussion. Uh, but a lot has happened to me as of late. Um, one of them being that I have found a Love lot me. of my family. Um, and... I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I, I, I don't have a lot of time at the moment, but I, give me a moment and I'll see you in a second and I'll explain what I'm talking about. And I'll explain what's going on. I'll explain what the plan is from this point forth in regards to the videos. Uh, you'll get it all in just a second. See you in a sec. Welcome back. I told you guys that uh, it'd be a second before I was back and here we are. I guess I kept my word. You hear that little crinkling? That's because I am uh, wearing a bag under here to uh, help sweat off some excess uh, excess uh, water uh, in the body. Um, so where do I start? <sighs> the past month and a half, two months, I've been dealing a lot with, you know, uh, a lot of uh, depression. Because uh, I suffer, obviously, from uh, some heavy depression issues. And... I was dealing a lot with suicidal thoughts and uh, just just a lot of drama, internal drama. There was nothing in my day-to-day -day life that was causing it, really. It was just all in, all in my head. Uh, oh, see my glasses? Yeah, that happened. Um, I have to try and go get a new pair uh, next week. I was supposed to do that today, but didn't have the didn't have the time. Anyways, okay, okay. First things first. I uh, came to a realization. I do not want to be fat anymore. I don't know how well you guys can tell in the video since I don't really show my entire body in them anymore. But for about the last three weeks now, I have been eating a very low calorie diet. Uh, under, for the first week, it was under uh, 500 calories, which was really hard. This is all just it, me doing, it's not a diet either. I think I said diet, but no, I have been just eating, all right, I haven't been dieting. I said I was on a very low calorie diet, and when, and I'm not saying that I'm dieting, I'm saying that that's just the diet I'm eating. Uh, my, da my daily intake uh because this is not a diet to me this is me just just not wanting to be fat anymore i'm disgusted at myself looking at pictures of myself or video of myself just absolutely makes me want to throw up i mean oh boy does it um I am working with a little tripod here, so I'm going to be repositioning uh, it every so often. Um, and this video is going to be the first one back, so it's going to be, I think, week 18. So that pushes off the year a little bit, but whatever. Uh, week 5, or uh, year 5, week 18 or so. Uh, but back to the point. So I have been eating a very low-calorie diet. I've been keeping track of it on a, on a calorie tracker online. Um, so I've been eating, this is the first time I had something like this. This is probably, yeah, 190 calories there, but that's not the most, that's healthy compared to what I normally eat. Uh, so, but I usually eat this. This is what my day usually consists of now. A banana, a yogurt, a tea, green tea, unsweetened. Um, and maybe one of those small burritos. And when I have one of those, I do not eat the whole thing. I eat like three fourths of it, and then I give the rest to the dog. Uh, or if I do have anything else, like if I have a, uh, if I want a sandwich, it's like low portions compared to what I would ever take in regards to a sandwich. I only have a sandwich, and I only have one piece of bread. Not two pieces, 
I don't overload it with the stupid stuff I used to do. Uh, much more reasonable normal portions. And if I want extra amounts on there, I make sure I take that out of my daily calorie uh, counting. Meaning I, I just take less later on in the day. Uh, and I seem to be losing weight because according to those four scales outside, I am nearing 340. Uh, now that's probably closer to like 349 because these scales they round off to the nearest uh, 20 I've noticed and So it says 360 on the scale right now, but it's fluctuating between 360 and 340 which means in my guess it, I am probably about 351 352 uh, but I'm almost to the point where it'll it will uh, round down so it'll say 340 instead of 360 get it uh, which means that in a month and a half, I will have lost, see, I thought it was two weeks, but then I realized that, uh, I haven't been drinking soda for a while now. So I'm saying a month and a half, I will have lost 60 pounds because I was 400 pounds. So, and that's based off of all four of these waste station scales. They all say the same thing as I'm about to eat my yogurt. This is my dinner for the night, yogurt and banana. Uh, and if I want a snack on something, that's what it is. Uh, and it was rough the first week. Uh, but the second week, it got a lot better. Because the first week I just ate 500 or less calories. The second week I was doing about 700 calories. And sometimes a little bit higher. But it was always under 1,000. Yesterday I had my first breaker of about 1,500 calories. Uh, because I'd gone uh, almost three weeks now uh, eating almost nothing. And I needed an actual meal. So 15,000. Which is still... Uh, Still about 6,000 under what my calorie tracker suggested uh, that I do. And a lot of the times, because I'm eating so low an amount, it will refuse to count it for my daily totals. But it, it still will show up in my calendar. Um, and so, yeah, there's that. I've been losing that weight. Um, and the goal is that maybe six months from now, I'll be in the 200s. That would be nice, and by year's end, I'm hoping to be 250, and then by the middle of next year, I'm hoping to be back down into the one, 190 area, 190, 200 pounds. I don't know what my healthy weight is supposed to be, though, so I don't know what the reasonable expectation for my weight to be is before it's un getting unhealthy, uh, and I don't know how to figure that out either. Also... Uh, also, I'm spacing off. Uh, no, but also, give me just a second. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I don't remember what I was going to say, but the grand point of this particular topic is this isn't a diet. It's a life change. I don't want to be what I look like. It makes me feel like a terrible person. It makes me feel like shit about myself. Uh, uh, excuse my language. Uh, so instead of hating myself for the way I look, I am going to change it. And I am hoping that in a few months... See, today I started. I did four laps uh, around this warehouse. And this is a ginormous warehouse around the outside of it. And it's freaking cold, too. Um, below zero, but, and I do stretches and stuff, but in six months time, I'm hoping to be in a state with my physical body that I could feel like I can go to the gym or go somewhere with weights and start weightlifting so I can get myself not just skinny, but in shape. Cause that's what I would like. Um, I think, I think I have a decent face and if I can get the excess fat off my body, I think I could actually look pretty good. And get myself a lady. That's... Why else? Uh, no, uh, just because it'd make me feel better about myself. And, you know, 
I don't want to die young. I really don't. That's a that's a fear I genuinely have, and I realize that I've got to do my part to prevent that from happening. It, my body will do what it can. I need to do what I can. So, uh, but on to the last uh, month and a half. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I've been dealing with a lot of depression and it's just been a lot of self-confidence things, uh, problems with feeling like I was valued by family or friends or by anybody or needed is not really valued, but, uh, like I was really wanted. Um, because I, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but, uh, I'll be right back because the camera is about to stop recording on its own and I'll see you in a second. Oh crap, this is awkward, it didn't stop. Huh. Alright, well, we can continue on then, shall we? Uh, so, yeah. I didn't know, I haven't known my family except for my brother and my father for about a couple years. Uh, and, um... My brother and Rance, they're pretty cool people. Uh, I really love my brother a lot. Um, but I, fa I decided I needed to go on a quest and find what it is that it, find answers to what it is that has made me so depressed, uh, all these years, uh, ever since I was a kid. I needed to get the answers that I had been desperately needing all my life. I finally figured that I just, I need to, I need to put the work in. I've tried and tried for many years and not come out on top in a search for my family. Uh, and I'm leaning forward. It's kind of making me look like a hunchback. But, so, I went and spent a good three, four days worth of hours, uh, Searching for my family, and I found just about everybody that I can think of. I found my mom. Uh, unfortunately, she ha she's already passed away in 2004. Um, a day before her birthday, April 2nd. She was going to be 40. So that really, uh, when I found that out, that really brought me down, um, because I had been searching for her for all my life to get answers, uh, to tell her how much she meant to me, and to tell her I forgive her, and just ask her to be a part of my life, and ask her to let me be a part of hers, and, uh, be there for her, but I will not have that opportunity, and it, uh, it, it tears me up inside, it really does, um, it really does, but I also found, um, four other brothers, three other brothers, let me think here, yeah, three other brothers, Possibly a sister. I don't know yet on that one, but she if she is even if she's not she uh, Died I believe at 22 um, Maybe younger. I'm not sure uh, But I haven't verified the information on that particular uh, Subject or on that particular person yet. So take it for a grain of salt um, But I also found my mom's family, her sisters, her brothers, uh, her sister's children, um, and they all seem to be really, really awesome people, and I'm incredibly happy to have found them. Uh, I believe in my heart that they are the ones that are going to provide me uh, the answers that I've been seeking in life. And maybe, and I, I'm pretty sure also, they are going to help me resolve uh, some of my 
struggles, uh, my in my in my confidence stuff, my feelings about myself, uh, that sort of thing. I really feel like they may be the key to me resolving those issues of myself, and I really hope so. Uh, they seem like the the right people to to do it. I mean, they're my family, and they're what I've been looking for. They may not be my mom, uh, but they are the closest thing I could get. I can get. Uh, and they're very much the next best thing. I mean, and I've learned a lot about my family, especially my father, but that's not for you guys to know. Uh, that's just for me to know and deal with uh, and discover. But... Unfortunately, though, um, three of my brothers don't seem to... One of them just unfriended us. Don't know why. Uh, and the other two doesn't seem terribly interested in associating with us. Which, I guess, I mean, they have their own lives. And they may feel differently about finding the past, or the past finding them, really, since I found them, than I do. Uh, especially, uh, one of them who is in the military, um, he really smart looking dude, really cool looking guy, uh, but, uh, he has not, uh, said more than three words to me since I first contacted him, literally. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'll just let him do his thing, it's his life to live, uh, I love him, I'm glad to, to know who he is, and if he ever sees this video, I love you, bro. Uh... And hit me up anytime. Message me on Facebook or whatnot. Uh, and same with uh, both of you, actually. All three of you that uh, seem to either cut off or ran off or not be too interested. Anytime you want to chat or hit me up and hang out, well, <laughs> depending on where I am, just give me a call. Give me a shout. Text me. Um, but in regards to my sister's family, uh, boy, they're pretty cool. Seems to be a big family of women, though. I noticed. I've, I've, I think I've only speaking, spoken to two guys and just a bunch of women. Uh, I've met, uh, I've talked to people that uh, knew a lot about my mom and what's happened to her in her life and what happened to her. Um, I don't know if I said, but she, uh, she, from what I was told, she died of uh, breast cancer. That uh, she grew weary of chemotherapy and so just gave up and ended up dying in one of my brother's arms, unfortunately. Uh, just collapsing on the floor and him having to dial 911. That's a terrible thing that I couldn't imagine ever having to deal with. I could imagine, actually, but I wouldn't ever want to. Except that's not entirely true either. I wish I was there. A lot. I wish I was there. I wish I could hold her hand. I wish I could tell her that it was going to be okay. I wish I could have made it okay. But I'm glad somebody was there with her. Because a lot of the time throughout her life, from what I understand, she really had nobody. Nobody was there for her. She was trying to make it on her own, and she had some issues, made some bad choices. People took advantage of her, manipulated her, and did other things. But, you know, we're all responsible for our own lives in the end, they say. But nonetheless, man, I still wish that I was there. Because I would, I would love to have taken some of her burden off her shoulders the, the entire time. I know that I probably would have been a burden on her shoulders, and that's probably one of the poor... Di well, for me... For me, I, she didn't necessarily give me up as much as I was taken from her. But the reasoning behind it was justified, so I understand that, and I appreciate it. But I also wish she would have known where I was so that at some point, maybe I could have been given to 
her family instead of to the state. Uh, Cause I have a feeling based off of what I've learned about them that had I grown up with her family, I think I would be a completely different person. Um, I'd probably look the same. A good snack's a good snack. I'm just kidding. No, actually, I don't believe that would be true either because most of the reason why I gained all this weight initially was because of the group homes I was in and the medications that they put me on, that they put all of us on. It's kind of just a thing for group homes. Uh, but I don't think I would have looked like this either. I, don't, I think I would have probably been in decent shape. I might be a little overweight, but I wouldn't be like this. My body would be healthier because... I would have been healthier without all those medications and stuff, and it just turned me into a zombie, and, you know. Um, but, you know, I think had I been with them, I would have gotten a different sort of help that I probably needed. See, I believe that a lot of my issues growing up behaviorally stemmed from the fact that I felt abandoned. I felt unloved. And I felt like it was all my fault. Turns out, it was. But I don't feel like, at least in my head, everyone says, no, it wasn't. You were only a kid. No, you know. Well, I know this is a tangent. And I'm probably going to forget what I was getting at. Uh, well, I'll finish the first topic. Uh I believe that that's where a lot of my behavioral problems came from, and I believe having, if I would have been in a structured, loving environment where the people there could help me as I was having the problems, as they were being noticed and, and uh, support me. I mean, I had supportive people, don't get me wrong. I had plenty of that, but it was a different kind of clinical support instead of familial support uh and i had some families attempt but by that time it was i was far broken uh i think i would have turned out differently i think they would have been able to assist me with uh with my confidence issues i think a lot of the issues that i even have would have never presented itself i'm certain of that uh because the way i grew up created a lot of my uh internal strife yeah, I think I was predisposed for for emotional issues, but I don't think they would have turned into what they did. Or at least I hope they wouldn't have. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so they're pretty cool people. One of them, uh, her name's Karen. She played for one of the, f the first major professional female softball league. Uh, softball team the silver bullets in the 90s it was really cool it's really cool i really admire her uh because i absolutely love baseball um and i know had i been with her i would have been begging to go to the practices that would have just made my day made every day that i would every day every time that i would have went and saw her it would have made my day <laughs> she would have been the favorite aunt i think uh, but, uh, I also met, uh, oh, she also played soccer for Notre Dame, from what I understand. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, I met my other aunt, um, Deb, which I wonder if it's Debbie, and she just goes by Deb for short. If you see this, let me know, uh, if I haven't already asked. Um, she's really cool. I've been talking a lot with her and her two daughters, um, they are really awesome people. They they've been I've been talking to the most to all three of them and they've been told me a lot. They've uh they've been more than willing to just listen to me ramble, my stupid rambling. And uh a lot of people in my life have actually been willing to do that and I appreciate that. Uh I wish I didn't, but uh I wish I didn't ramble. And I have a tendency to overexplain, you notice? Um they're really cool people. Uh, I'm hoping to get to get a big reunion that 
they're thinking about doing. I'm hoping to go and join. I mean, whatever. What's the purpose otherwise it's of putting it together if I didn't go? Uh, but that's the idea. I mean, I want to go and uh, visit them. I think I'm going to try and do that this year at some point. Uh, and I have been... I, I met a few other uh, aunts, too, and a couple uncles. However, I don't remember all their names yet. I'm sorry, guys. I got Betty. I haven't talked to her too much, but she's really interesting so far. She has a lot of information on my mom, because I believe uh, Betty spent the most time with her. Uh, yeah. And then I have, let's see. Megan is one of my nieces, I believe. Uh, which is one of my aunt's daughters. And, uh, how am I forgetting her name? Oh, Al Al Alex. Alexis. I think it's Alexis. I'm sorry. Uh, Alex would be a boy's name, right? So it's Alexis. Uh, she's really cool, too. She's talked to me a lot. Very friendly. Um, and then I also met... Uh, let's see. Uh, Sherry, which I believe is another aunt. Um, Wayne, which I believe is an uncle. Uh, I don't remember all of them. I'm so sorry, you guys. I remember one more, but I can't seem to find him. Oh, uh, started with an R. That's such a jerk. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, where is it? Bear with me, guys. Uh, Rusty, there you go. Uh, yeah. That's the my mom's side of the family that I've met so far. Um, and then I met Clayton. I, well, I haven't gotten to talk to him yet, but I found Clayton, who is the father listed on my birth certificate, which I still am not 100% sure who my father is because I still have yet to take a parental DNA test. But everybody says I look like rants. Uh, but we'll see. Um... But Clayton, uh, I met his kids and stepkids, uh, and they are all really cool people. They have struggled through a lot. Um, I learned some hard things and some great things um, from them. Uh, and, I mean, I hope to have them as a part of my life in a, in a meaningful manner and not just a uh, uh, arm's length manner. So I hope over time I can develop that with them because... Uh, they are very important to me. I mean, they might not be blood that we know of. One of them could be. Two of them could be if, uh, of course two of them because one of them will be Clayton. But, uh, one of the kids could be if, uh, Clayton turned out to be my father. But if not, which is what I'm going to go with at this point, uh, they're still very important to me because I was raised by him and his wife, Kelly, before she passed away, unfortunately. I believe in 2014. Uh, which uh, I owe her a lot, too. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if their decisions were the right ones or not. But I believe that they were trying to make the best decisions that they had. With the understanding that they had. So I hold no animosity. I don't know what, what I don't know, so I can't really judge off of that. There may be more. There's probably more. But I mean, I, I'm sure that there are some things that maybe I haven't been told that are for my protection or maybe for theirs. I don't know. Uh, but I know they told me some pretty heavy stuff that doesn't seem like there could be much more to that. Uh, more, it's more than what I was told, so might know everything. Uh, but they seem to hold no real grudges against me, and I appreciate that. And I hold no grudges against them, even though I feel bad about myself. Uh, and I wish I could make it all better, but I can't. I wish I could make every all of the past disappear. And this is what I'm talking about, about me making a mistake 
or doing something wrong or screwing up and it uh and it having they say or people say it's not my fault i was five you know you can't hold that against me you know uh that was an unfair reaction they weren't prepared whatever you know people have said many different things but the consensus is is that it really wasn't my fault i mean it was so how could it not be but the point is uh It obviously, it is my fault because I did something. It's cause and effect. I punched something, something broke. Or I punched something, my hand broke. Cause and effect. That's how everything works. Nobody else makes you do something. You know, nobody else makes you say something. Nobody else makes you throw something or light something on fire. Which apparently, I was in, I had a lot of fun doing. Uh, apparently, me and fire were best friends at five because uh, more than a few things got lit on fire, and I ain't talking about little things. Apparently, I uh, I uh, lit a uh, a giant horse like sign uh, statue thing on fire at five, and it went up in a blaze of glory in Reno at the Westerner Motel. Um, and apparently, uh, I lit a couple dumpsters on fire. And uh, some of my memories, too, uh, like, I had this memory of stabbing this kid in the cheek. He was doing something to me. I very, very vaguely remember. But I know he was doing, he was tormenting me in some way. He was messing with me constantly. Uh, and I stabbed him in the cheek with a fork. I also remember tripping somebody and them breaking their arm in school or in an orphanage maybe i don't know where that was maybe they didn't know um but yeah it was a bit of a pyro and my memory of sleeping in a closet uh turned out to be accurate too uh i was sleeping in a closet on a beanbag and they say that I used to drill holes when I was in timeout or something at five. Well, I'm going to tell you the reason I drilled, drilled those holes. It's because I remember spending a lot of time in that closet. And I remember that most often the only light that I had was from underneath the door. But there was a beanbag there and I couldn't really... Sorry, my nose is just itching. Uh, there was a beanbag there and I couldn't really get down there to look underneath the door. So I was primarily in the dark. Like hours at a time in my mind. And so I did what I... The only thing I could do. First of all, you're putting me in a closet for hours at a time where it's dark. And I'm a child. With no toys. Uh, so the only thing I found as a toy was a screw on the ground. And I remember digging at the wall because I had nothing else to do. Uh, and that was literally the only entertaining thing I had to do while I was stuck in that wall or in that closet. Uh, I wasn't locked in there that I remember. I was just in there for either timeout or because it was bedtime or just because I was told to go there. Uh, but that was because we were living in a motel. It wasn't because I was some Harry Potter guy. Uh, and they still tried to give me my own space while they would have their own space. Um, which would be Clayton and Kel Kelly. So I understand that now. I was a little anima. I did have a little anger that I was made to sleep in a closet until just now, to be honest. When I realized the purpose behind it was really about having... Uh, personal space for both them and me because you know it was such a closed environment um so i don't hold any harbor any feelings against that and i don't really harbor any feelings against them anyways we all do what we think is the best thing to do at the time sometimes it's the best thing for ourselves and sometimes it's the best thing for somebody else uh but i get it i wish it hadn't gone down the way it did but i get it uh, so, yeah, man, I just really hope, well, 
like I was saying, I did something, cause and effect. Everyone says it's not my fault. Well, I punched something and somebody got hurt. It's, of course, my fault. I mean, I don't remember it happening. I don't remember what I did. I don't remember pretty much anything at all from that time, to be honest. Um, I have vague flashes of of my memory before, like, six. Um, well, shoot, no. I can't think of full memories, except for, like, flashes, like, a bit of a memory, from anywhere before, like, age... Wow, like, eight or nine. And to be honest with you, I have been losing a lot of my memory that I used to have, too, which is why I was recently inquiring about whether there was a risk for Alzheimer's in my family. Uh, no one's going to watch this video. It's way too long. Um, but I have been forgetting a lot. Even when I'm trying to say things, I forget what it is I'm trying to say. Um... Like right now. So to me, it's cause and effect, yeah. And so I did something at five, and they got rid of me. Uh, and so for me, every night since that day, everything that I have experienced has been based around the fact that I lost my family. Like every move that I've really made in life uh, has been sh overshadowed, I guess, with... Uh, with that in my mind, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, that doesn't sound really bad. Uh, so I'm just going to move on from that part. Uh, but everything that happened, every sad night, every time I was unhappy or lonely or crying or wishing upon a star uh, or watching or singing somewhere out there. Oh, my God, I used to sing that to myself while looking out at the stars and the moon. Somewhere out there from Fievel goes from American Tale, uh, Fievel and American Tale was my song. Well, it's like the definition of how I felt or what I dreamed of for the first 18 years of my life and probably a little longer, to be honest. Um, yep. So, yeah, cause and effect. I am just stuck with the thought that it was all my fault. Uh, and there's... That's really tearing me up. So I decided I need to see a therapist. I wasn't able to see him this week, uh, which I had planned on. So I'm going to see him next week, uh, Tuesday at 11, I believe. So, yeah. That's my uh, my thing. Because um, I just feel like a shit person. Uh, but, uh, moving on. I'm feeling a lot better about life in general because I, I feel like, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like I belong. See, my brother was really excited when I found him and I was really excited when he, when we first met and we've just really enjoyed each other. Uh, and but it felt different. It felt, it felt like a brotherly thing. It felt like a lawyer. I don't know. Now that I found these people and it just feels much bigger. Well, that's probably just because it's so many more people. And because it's what I've been searching for my, my entire life, which is my mom. Uh, I was searching for all of my family, but the priority was my mom. Me finding any of my brothers was a, was a bonus that I do not re regret. I am so happy I have Mike in my life. I'm so happy I have the other three. Uh, but Mike's Mike's like my best friend. Uh, I don't agree with a lot of his opinions, though. Um, but he's grown on me. Uh, and we all have our own ideas about stories. And... Alright. Well, um... I think it's about to fail at my recording, so I'm going to stop it right now. And we're back. 
Uh, all right, so uh, I was running out of recording sizes, four gigs. I'm going to end this soon, actually. Uh, all right, so to continue on, uh, I love my brother. He is my best buddy, uh, and I hope I can develop that kind of relationship with my other three brothers or other two brothers. One of them, I don't know what he decided to do. <laughs> uh, he unfriended all of us, I guess, uh, and disappeared already that took like three days uh that's too bad if you uh if you're what if you ever watch this video wtf man um but i still love you uh yeah so a lot's happened in my life a lot of great things a lot of hard things but I feel like I'm on a whole new adventure a whole new direction and I can't wait to go in I look ridiculous with these glasses on I can't wait to go and meet them and give them a hug and tell them I love them all in person for the first time uh, it'll be like when I did it with my brother uh, but no <laughs> Uh, but so much bigger because it's so much, so many more people. Uh, it's just different. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I just had somebody contact me at 3.04 in the morning when I tried to get them to come hours ago and hang out. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, my friends don't like to hang out with me. <laughs> uh, anyhow, okay, point is, new direction, new lease on life. I'm excited, and I hope you guys can join me. I hope things get more interesting for the videos. I don't think they're going to get more interesting in the immediate interim, but I think over the long term, we are going to see some changes with my perspective on things, uh, with my perspective on life and my priorities and goals. Uh, and I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to meet this family. I'm excited to uh, become a part of it, um, to explore that adventure with them um, and learn about my history. Uh and so join me. I'm, exci I'm excited to go on this, and I hope you guys can join me on it. And I love y'all. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. And look forward to the next video. See what I can tell you. Josh out.